Now, I just want to say this because this is an opportunity for me to tout my strategy of diversification. How many times have I said over and over and over and over and over again, don't get overweighted in any sector? How many of you have called and said, I'm overweighted in energy? How do you feel about that today? How many times did I say, one of these days, you're going to be sorry? I said, don't call me. Don't call me now and tell me you're overweighted in oil. I don't know what to tell you. You are going to either have to take enormous losses or you won't be overweighted today because things are going to come crashing down. So the value is going to go down so you won't be overweighted anymore. But that's a heck of a way to get into balance with your portfolio. So look, it is, um, it is a huge problem, but it's going to make a case for all of you that are very well divers- diversified. It is really uh, a situation that I've never seen. We haven't seen oil prices look like this since 1991. 1991 was the last time we saw a crisis like this in oil. That was Desert Storm, I think. Um, When Desert Storm, we saw this drop in oil prices because we were worried, of course, then we were highly dependent upon OPEC oil. And that's when we saw that. So yield curves are dropping. Oil's crashing. This is not good. Markets are in turmoil. And uh, the broader economic outlook is now, is now finally starting to get a little bit darker. Look, it's not the fact that the economic outlook is going to look darker. It's you have to understand that once this spiral downward starts, it is very, very hard to throw it into reverse. It's really hard to do it the faster it goes. And that's what we're seeing. Transitory or not, the downturn won't be an uptick overnight in all likelihood if this goes another two weeks, continuing the downward spiral. Now, I'm not making a case. Please don't get out of anything and don't sell out of anything. Don't call out. Don't call in and say, hey, I got this. I'm down now 60%. Should I get out? My answer is going to be no. So I just saved you a phone call. Just telling you. You'd have to be out of your mind to sell in this market. You might have to be out of your mind not to buy in this market if you're a long-term investor. But if you're selling... You're crazy. You'd be crazy to sell in this market. Because if you are invested and you're a partner, you've got a long-term time horizon. All of a sudden, today, you're going to forget about that? You're going to forget that you're a long-term investor? Not a good idea. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.